What's up YouTube, KidMoto22 here, and I want to talk to you guys today about the unused trademarked names that Harley has that aren't assigned to motorcycles yet. So let's get to this right now. Welcome back YouTube, KidMoto22 here, and like I said in the intro, I want to talk to you guys today about the unused trademarked names that Harley has that they're not using right now, and I'm fairly certain these will be assigned to bikes in the next few coming years. So, the first one that we know, Harley trademarked, and they trademarked this back with three names when they trademarked the Pan America and a couple other ones was the Bare Knuckle. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be used for. It sounds like a great name for a chopper. And we know that Harley's kind of moved away from that with uh, um, some of the bikes they've gotten rid of in their lineup. So they've moved away from that kind of chopper style. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, I don't think the bare knuckle will be used for any of the new um, Sportster lines. Could it be used for a revival bike? Maybe, but typically those are just been, so far they've just been named as a revival bike. So I don't think it's gonna be used for that. So we're gonna shelve the bare knuckle name. I don't know really what this one's gonna be used for. The next one is the Bronx. Well, we're fairly certain we know what the Bronx is gonna be used for. This was for their Naked Street Fighter bike. I think we're gonna see this bike in the next couple years. And so we will likely see that Street Fighter name, the Bronx. Um, so that name is out there and we know um, kind of what it's going to be assigned for. Um, the 48X is another name that they trademarked. This is an interesting one to me because um, X or S are some of the, the, you know, the naming rights or whatever, the, the uh, special letters that they use for some of their special models. And the 48X could be something that they're going to do with the Sportster line. The reason why I say this is that it's pretty well known and it's been reported that the Sportster S model is supposed to be kind of their uh, top of the line or flagship of that new style. Now, um, we've heard, and like I said, it's been widely reported that that is an S model and that they are going to be putting out other Sportsters with that uh, Revolution Max motor that are going to be um, lesser, right? So not with all of the tech, with all of the, um, you know, kind of fancy bobbles that they put on that bike, um, they're going to put out, you know, like a 883 model, right? Just a stripped down version of that Sportster S. Maybe they're going to move into a uh, 48 style bike, <clears throat> like we saw the Sportster 48, but a 48X with that new Revolution Max motor. That would make sense with the Max kind of name. They can call it the 48X, um, and it would have that new Rev Max motor. Um, I think that would be, you know, kind of a kind of a cool way to move that Revolution Max into that lineup, and uh, kind of have a replacement of the 48 with the Rev Max. So um, I think that's uh, that's one of them that we could also see. The most interesting one to me was a name that Sportster, or I shouldn't say Sportster, Harley used in their Sportster lineup that they canceled in 2012, in 2012 and that's the Nightster. This one really has me intrigued for two reasons. Number one, I owned a Nightster. Number two, um, the, the Nightster lineup was canceled in 2012 and Harley let that name and trademark name lapse. So late last year, Harley re trademarked that name and there were some rumors going around that they were going to be using this if you know in the, with the Sportster S line. I think they could be putting out um, in that Sportster lineup using the Nightster name again with the RevMax motor and put out a you know kind of dark version kind of like they did with the um with the nightster lineup when they came up the nightster was a, essentially a sportster 1200 but it had more blacked out parts on it that you know kind of gave it that more sinister look as as, as they would say that was uh, you know kind of what harley said when they when they put out the nightster so are they going to use that name again in the, you know, kind of the revamped Sportster lineup that we know is coming? We know that the traditional Sportster with the Evo motor is going to go away. 
and the RevMax motor is likely going to be the one that's going to replace it. And so could that be another, another name along with the 48X that they use in the lineup? Maybe put out an entire blacked out version of, of that bike, maybe some taller bars stripped down, a little bit less tech, maybe a narrower front tire. Along the lines of the Nightster 1200, have it be blacked out but with that new motor. I think that could be a good way to go and it would be a way that Harley is going to be using some of those new trademark names. So there we go. Some of the new names that Harley's throwing out there. That's about what I have for you guys today. Remember, we think about those, those names and where they go. It's the bare knuckle that's not being used. The Bronx isn't, be Bronx isn't being used. The 48X and the Nightster. Those are the four trademark names that I know of that they're not assigned to motorcycles yet. And I think we could be seeing those in the very near future. So that's about it. That's what I have for you guys today. This is Kid Moto. I'm out.